How's it going everybody? Just hitting first light out here this spring, going for some spring muskies here at the spillway, pike, maybe a walleye, it's probably a little early. Um, not into ice fishing this year. I, after the first year, I just kind of schedule, slush, wind, uh, take an overview of the, of the uh, river here. Not many places for open water fishing just yet, but it is mid-March and we're gonna give it a shot. You can see the, you can see the, the lake is all iced up and we got the spillway going. Beautiful valley this morning. Well, without further ado, I'm gonna get packed up here with Matt, my buddy, and the yak angler, and we're gonna see what we can catch. How are you gonna do one? No, you're fine. I'm just taking zero. Oh, you want to shot of the dam? I will say it's looking pretty juicy down here. You should have been here that time John was on his back on the icy rocks. I think he bruised some ribs actually. It was a little funny but he was like a turtle, he couldn't get up. I think we're gonna get him today, Jacob. I'm glad you talked me into this regardless. Yeah. Smells like fish down here, Matt. Yeah. All right, throwing on chatterbait, wiggly tail. I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck it up in the rocks with you. Oh yeah, we're a lot closer. It feels like. Oh yeah, a cheddar base pumping. I can't see is my problem though. Like where my bait is. There we go. I'm gonna be on him today. Big old pike or musky. Down here, that water is definitely flowing today. Jacob starting out with the chatter bait. I'm gonna go with the swim baits. Just to start out with. Try not to uh, knock you in the water here. Ah! There. Cassie platform. Got mad over the big swim bait. The water is definitely a booking out here. Get an angle on it, see if that helps. I was pulling out a rat nest and straight into the rock. Oh, I got it out. Did I? No. Alright, go the other way. Guys, I already fed the rocks and chatter bait. Throwing on this uh, pike jerk bait by Duo Realis. Let's see if it does the trick. Chasing me over here. There we go. Full pike. That's what I thought. I got no players, which isn't the smartest thing to do, but we got something. You have to be very, very, very careful. All right, I can't get them. All right. Oh, pike of the day. 
Let him go. I missed him once, he came back and swipe. I saw him swipe and then he like nailed it the third time. Like the next little dam down there might not be a bad spot right now. I thought I could get that hook out with my fingers, but they're cold and then like my other thumb slipped in his mouth. I'm like, how the f I get my thumb out? <laughs> so I ripped it to sh I almost thought I had a walleye right away in that first bite, but it had to be that pike. I saw him come back and swipe and miss, and then I finally got him. He was aggressive. You don't have a tissue or anything on you, do you? Can I, yeah, can I steal it? Well, you know how pike bites are. They just slice. I got one. Bike number two. Did you get one though? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I got several. My hand was flat into his gill, I didn't want to uh Well they're in here. I'm gonna leave your players with you. I'm gonna work back upstream to oh, my. You can, you can take them. I got my other pair in Do my you? pocket here, yeah. Yes, I'm gonna work back upstream to my bag. Okay, yeah, I was just thinking of my. And then I might work back down again. All right, guys, a little bit of a mid morning update. I've gotten the two pikes so far, and yeah, I don't know if you can see my thumb. It, uh, it quits bleeding as long as I keep it wrapped in a tissue from the first pike. I've gotten the second one. Hopefully, it, it was uh, it's about low 40s for a starting temp. It might be closer to 50 now. I'm not freezing, but the hands get so numb. I just wasn't smart enough to uh, keep my fingers out of the, the pike's mouth. Just taking a look at Matt up there, way up by the dam. I'm gonna work my way down again here a little bit, and we might do some shore hopping. Just taking a little break, and we'll get back into it. A giant one. Huge. Well, it's my third one of the day. I'll take it. Third pike of the day. Slide right out for a change. Get a little look here. Little skinny guy. A little bit of action down here. Huge!
buddy. You really got that face first. Look at the way he ate that. Oh, you're all wrapped too. All right. Bend it on the rocks. Drift it. All right, that's pike number four right away. Check my line here. They're grabbing it right by shore. They're following it up. Got okay. somebody's fishing line here. Pound braid. Look at this, guys. I broke their leader open that their braid was so strong. Look at that. There's some garbage out of the river. What the heck is going on here with all this fishing line? Well, pull more out. Somebody's down here with a jig. I got one. I got another one, Matt. Not very big. I do like that though. Get the camera here going. I didn't mention it before. I'm using the Dual Realis uh, Pike version jerk bait. It's only got the two treble hooks versus the bass ones have three. A little bit stronger hooks. There's a few pike out here. Number five. See if I can land him. These little rocks are are not uh, conducive on walking. This guy's actually got a good hook set where I can get him out pretty easy. My thumb's been bleeding for about an hour and a half, but regardless, we got to get get him on film here a little bit, don't we? Nice pike. All right, there you go, buddy. I didn't know this guy was on. Oh my bitch. 
I know better than that. All right, guys, completely, completely my fault. I saw the line in his mouth and I lifted him up over the water. I reached and grabbed him, broke my line, took my jerk bait, like a 12 inch pike, maybe 14, but be smarter. All right, made it back to town. Uh, it was, wind really picked up on us and it was about 44 degrees when we left. So it was actually pretty cold. Get back to town is dead calm and sunny, which is kind of nice. I ended up with six, uh, a little rusty in my fishing skills. My thumb took about three hours to quit bleeding. I don't know if you can see any of that. Uh, Matt ended up with one. Tried a few spots and said it's really early. It's the first day of spring, it's March 21st. So really we shouldn't be open water fishing in North Dakota yet, but uh, the shorelines on some of the smaller lakes are all chewed up, but we did see some guys ice fishing up on the big lake. So it's a mix. It's uh, only gonna get better from here. So see you guys next time.